Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. This is the afternoon show for the uh, 5th of December. We're going to get to letters, letters, letters in just a second. But first, uh, I got an update on the awards, the Cami Awards. So far, we've got close to 200 nominations, at least votes for nominations. Okay, so there. Uh, and, uh, and then, uh, and, and no more troll comments, which is nice. Nominations seem to be all over the place. There are a few trends uh, that we can see right now. Some people are kind of getting more than others. <laughs> uh, there is a trend in the channel of the year. So I'm not going to tell you who that is. It's somebody pretty well known, though. So anyway, that's all I see. That's just the nominations, okay? So next week, starting the 8th, we will have the voting for the actual winners. But if you haven't voted in the nominations categories yet, you still have until Saturday at the end of day, the end of the day on Saturday, okay? So don't forget to get your votes in. I will put the links below. I also want to say a couple of changes to my Saturday show, okay? I will not be doing a morning show this Saturday or next Saturday, okay? And I got to pull up the dates here. I should have done that already, but I didn't, did I? <laughs> uh, the dates are the 7th and the 14th, okay? December 7th and December 14th, there will be no morning show, but I will do a Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time both days. So we'll have an evening show Eastern Time on the 7th and the 14th. That is the easiest day for me to get down to my storage locker and do a lot of heavy duty work. I don't have to worry about rush hour and traffic. And I want to get that storage locker cleaned out. Two Saturdays ought to do it. So Saturday the 7th and the 14th will be heavy lifting days for Dave. And uh, we will do an evening show both of those days, 7 p.m. Saturday the 7th, 7 p.m., Saturday the 14th. And then we're back to our morning show on the 21st, which is, you guessed it, Super Saturday, because at 7 p.m. on the 21st, it's the Cami Awards. Okay, okay, I'll remind you guys this, what is today? Today's Thursday. So I'll remind you on this Friday, but uh, don't forget, this Saturday, Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, that's 4 p.m., in Los Angeles and something like midnight in London. I don't know what time it is over there in Australia. It's like uh, <laughs> tomorrow morning, it's Sunday morning or so. I don't know, man. No, it's, yeah, it is. It's lettuce, 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 lettuce. Kale, kale, kale. Oh wait, lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. Letters, 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 letters. Emerald City, entertainment is so bad today. That's why we end up watching RVers, good or bad. You know, um, I'll be honest with you, I am watching a lot of YouTube these days, but I'll tell you, the nomads are, are less and less of my time at the moment. I don't know. You know, I mean, there always is an ebb and flow with everything in life. And right now we're at a really, um, well, how should I say, uninteresting spot in terms of a lot of the nomads. Everyone's just kind of huddled up together down there in Quartzsite or Parker down in southwestern Arizona, and they're just photographing each other. We got a few outliers like Nomadic Fanatic and that are out somewhere else, but even they are kind of, I don't know, everyone, nobody's doing anything really like, wow, interesting right now, you know? It's just, I don't know, we're all kind of um, getting ready for Christmas and the holidays, and uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm finding that when I go on YouTube, I'm watching other stuff. And I do. I force myself to watch some of these nomads, and I shouldn't have to do that. I should want to watch them, shouldn't I? Uh, here's a good example. Betty Smith says Angela M, you know, you know, NFXGF, uh, has her channel going. Very cute cat videos. She's still pet sitting in Mexico. Yeah, I mean, I used to really enjoy it. She had a nice channel when she was traveling around doing things, but she just kind of sitting there in the Yucatan or wherever, going to the beach. You know, it looks like fun, but it's just like, ah, you know, it's, it's you know, I, it, it's, it's hard to get through all video. I'm talking about like Adam the Woo and even the Carpet Bagger. I used to, I, it was always Adam the Woo was must viewing every day. Had to watch everything. Carpet Bagger. I can't remember the last time I sat through an entire Carpet Bagger video. I mean, he's with Boogie, what Boogie guy? The Boogie guy, two eight five three, whatever his number is. Anyway, and uh, you know, he's got four point four million. The Boogie guy, but anyway. 
I, I don't know, man. I just, I can't sit through the videos anymore. It's just the touristy stuff, Pigeon Forge again. How many, how many times has Carpetbagger been at Pigeon Forge? Thousands, you know, and we, it's, well, I'm doing it again. <laughs> Mary Sanders says uh, when the uh, when Butterfly Gypsy pulled up there at the at the uh, <laughs> the Dome Rock Boondock the Dome the Dome boon, Boondock there in Courtside the Dome whatever uh, I didn't see them lined up to greet her <laughs> oh Butterfly Gypsy's here oh hi hi <laughs> she is uh, honing in on the celebrities like a heat seeing missile. That's right. She got a couple of them in her video, you know, just like, you know, hey. And that's the thing. If you're trying to build your channel, go for the other people that have more subs than you and get in their videos and get them in your videos. And, you know, and they, I'm friendly with so-and-so, you know. Jim sends us this from WCVB TV 5 in Boston. A smoke... Flames seen for miles on Route 1 started in the Saugus Walmart parking lot. That's right. A van that had been converted into a camper burst into flames outside a Walmart in Saugus, Saugus, Massachusetts, Wednesday afternoon. The owner uh, was inside of the store off Route 1 when it happened. First responders said there was a small camping-style propane tank in the van which helped fuel the fame, flames. The flames. The fire spread to a nearby Mercedes. I got a Mercedes. That was part located inside the parking lot. No injuries were reported. Oh my van goodness. That has been converted into a camper just bursting into flames. Oh yeah, I just said that. But anyway, that is scary. That somebody was uh, camping. They had gone. At least it happened uh, where nobody else got hurt. But it was pretty close to some other vehicles. A Mercedes was lost in the incident. Metro 369 and Butterfly Gypsy's uh, last video recorded 11:29. She makes it to the Boondocking Bash. We were just talking about that, and she walks up to her old friend quote unquote Seth. He looks up and then lowers his head and continues to do whatever he was doing. Then the video cuts. It's going to be interesting to see how many see how many of the tribe include her in their videos. She's been there about a week now and although I may have missed it, I haven't seen anyone else I haven't seen her in anyone else's videos. I don't know, Metro, I haven't either. Uh, Joel uh, W. Nomad see snow in December. Yeah, well, when they're up in Montana, they do, don't they? That's news. It's snowing in Montana in December. Well, you see that on the news. Why can't I report it? I don't know. <laughs> Some nomads get caught in it. Nomads in a truck. Anyway, is this frigging news? <laughs> nomads meet, boondock, and interact. And yes, that's right. And that's what they're going to be doing a lot more of down there in southwestern Arizona. <laughs> Talk about living free Mikey. He's mail is he mailing it in? Nomad X said he's uh, I guess it's a he. Uh, I am fed up with RVers who let their rigs completely fall apart. Big rusty patches, dented fenders, parts held on by duct tape and rope. What's wrong with duct tape? Huh? They hold my pants together. <laughs> And the ghetto look of having your possessions strapped on the back and the top. Some pride folks, this is your home. And think, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, electrical cords hanging off and sparking as, as you drive down the road and things falling off. And uh, <laughs> yeah, man, that's pretty ghetto. Taylor Rose writes, uh, I, was, I was asking where Cheap RV Living Bob did his last live chat from because it didn't look like he was in a vehicle. He was at his sister's house. We are told. Thank you. June Osborne points out that there are many, are there bonus points given to nomads without teeth? So many have had long beards and are toothless. Do they grow their bu bushy mustaches to cover their bootless smile or toothless smiles? Has anyone else ever noticed this? Yeah. yeah especially the women, huh? <laughs> I have teeth. I got teeth. <laughs> well, I'm not a nomad either. Uh, Doggone RVans got a good point here. It'd be interesting to know how many of the nomads on YouTube uh, are Democrats or Republicans, and, and who would they favor? That would be interesting in the next presidential election. Who do you favor? I don't know. I, it seems to me, I, you know, I don't know. I, it seems to me the women I see on YouTube, the nomads, people like, uh, you know, 
Carolyn's RV life and, and stuff like that. They seem to be liberals, but then a lot of the guys seem to be conservatives like uh, like uh, um, Randy, Ren, Nomadic Fanatic. And I don't know, man. I don't know. Be, it would be very interesting at the RTR or one of these meetups to take a poll of, you know, you know, do you like Donald Trump? Do you think you should run for re-election? Who would you vote for in 2020? I don't want to get into politics too much, but it would be interesting to see which side of the spectrum most of the nomads are on. Uh, good question. That's right. Uh, we were talking about having a Campa Palooza, a Camo Palooza, yeah, this coming Labor Day or something. Uh, the Doxinator says, uh, if we're going to have a Camo Palooza, I'm going to require airfare, lodging, meals, and booze. <laughs> Well, you know, if we have it in Pigeon Forge or somewhere in that area, Dollywood area, that's going to not be far from where I'm going to be living come January. I'm going to be in western t uh, North Carolina. So that can't, there's no need airfare. Uh, lodging, you know, uh, yeah, lodging meals and booze would be good. That'd be good. I'll take that. <laughs> or my, just send me money and I can pay for it myself. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, okay. Got several requests for this. Mr. Sting, who goes by some other names, has requested this, and I'm going to be doing this now and then up until the big 25th of December. So are you ready? Holiday troll. Holiday troll. <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody. Don't forget... Don't forget to vote in the Cami Awards. Do your part. <laughs> in this democracy that was once called Boyt, vlog under.